Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. Hello, thank you for joining me and welcome back. Okay, let's see. Today we're going to paint, uh, let's see, a scene from my island, Puerto Rico. Las Montañas de Puerto Rico, the mountains of Puerto Rico. That's what we're going to paint. And we're going to probably, if we have time, we're probably going to add a little house here on stilts. A typical little wooden house that you usually don't see anymore. But once in a while, depends where you go traveling to in the island, you probably will see it. Okay, so let's start with the sky. I'm using a one and a half inch brush because I want to cover a large area. Okay. And I'm using some mixed white and blue. I'm not just using solid white and I'm not using solid blue. I'm using both colors mixed in. And those are not the only colors we're going to be using. We're going to be adding more colors, but we're going to give this a chance to dry. Okay, you see that little speck right there? Don't try to pick it with your finger because it just gets worse. Always go like this. Pick it up. You see it right here? There you go. And then go like that again with your brush. Because what happens is, if you try to pick it up with your finger, hmm, you're asking for trouble with your painting. So I'd rather just uh, pick it up with the fibers of my brush. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let this dry before I add more colors to it, okay? You do the same. Um, my horizon line will probably be around here because I'm going to have mountains all throughout here. Mountains throughout here. All that's going to be mountains. And my little house might be here, might be here, I don't know. Let's take one step at a time. There you go. Let that dry. I'm going to give it maybe, I would say, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Depending on the temperature in your room. Okay, I have all my colors. This is what my palette looks like. I have some black, some uh, dark blue, light blue, some white, yellow, yellow ochre, brown, green, and some kind of magenta, I believe. And I usually start with very small paint amount on my palette and I just put it in as needed. Let's get started back on the sky. So again I'm going to be adding a little bit more blue right about here and wiggling my brush. There we go. Picking up a little bit more white and kind of blend it in. I'm going to pick up some of that light blue, pick up a little bit of white to mix it in there. Pick up a little bit of white. bit more white here. 
and I'm kind of scrubbing. I'm scrubbing here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that magenta. See how small amount without cleaning my brush, and I'm gonna place that here. Picking up a little bit of white to lighten it up. Again, I'm kind of scrubbing. Move it around. If you happen to form a line, just take some white and go over it and break up the line. You don't want lines. A little bit more magenta right here. Kind of even the painting with colors. That way, if I put some pink here and pink here, or if I put yellow here and yellow here, when somebody looks at your painting, you want somebody to look at the whole painting, not, not just focus on one certain spot. You want them to see the whole painting overall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tab of yellow here. And I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want it to turn green. So... A little bit more yellow, some white, blend it in, blend it in. Again, I'm going to put some of that yellow here. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a touch, just to get it in there. Some white. You see how I'm doing this? I'm just scrubbing and I'm not staying in one area. I'm moving along from here to there, left to right and right to left. And I'm wiggling my brush. I'm going to put in some clouds. I didn't clean my brush, I just picked up some white. So I'm going to push up. And um, I would say this is a half an inch angle brush. You know what? This is not an angle brush. You see, this is a filbert. Filbert brush. Normally, I use this filbert brush. It just goes to show you, you can use any brush you want. Okay, so this is one of my clouds. I'm going to go here up and let it fade up let it fade let's put one here and wiggle it push up and wiggle it let it fade let it fade it's like sweeping sweep 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 I'm gonna take a tap of that yellow and kind of put it in this cloud here. Look at that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pink. A little bit of pink in this cloud. If you happen to pick up too much pink or too much yellow, just go back with some white. Okay, here we go. I want to make it more white than pink. Okay. I think that's going to be enough for the sky because we want to put in some mountains in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this one. And I'm going to pick pick up some black and we're going to do some mountains let's do one mountain here okay and then this other mountain here okay um, let's fill that in just to have an idea fill it in fill it in 
doesn't have to be perfect just pull it in and you can even tap it if you tap it like this it just makes it look like trees okay trees in the distance um i'm going to make it just a little taller on this side this one there i'm also going to make this one here pick up some more black Um, I'm going to be picking up some more black because as you can you see I used all my black here so I'm going to put some more on my palette okay so we have one two uh, I'm going to make this a little taller just because Tapping. I'm still tapping uh, this mountain here I'm going to tap as well and these are all background mountains so I'm just gonna fill that in because we're gonna put color in it in the field so this is just all background color so that really doesn't matter how it looks right now as long as you know there's a mountain there mm -hmm. and I'm going to let's put another mountain here this is gonna be another mountain That's going to say that's going to be part of that mountain there. So how many mountains do I see so far? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And let's just make this one a little taller. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to make this a little longer and then I'm going to add a nice hill here. This is going to be my hill. Okay. That's my hill. And I'm going to cover this This is all going to be black. Can you see it coming together? See, this is going to be my hill. Let's see what happens on this hill here. See? But we're going to cover the whole thing in black. Because when we add the greens and the yellows, it's going to make it really pretty. So you want this dark in the background so that when we add the color everything will stand out so you need that black in order for the pretty colors to stick out again I need more black so I'm going to pick up some more black put it on my palette You can tap it if you like. Just 
just mix little forms, little uh, textures in there. There you go. Oh, we got the whole canvas covered. Let me see. Do I like those mountains? Yes, I do. They all don't have to be perfect. Little tap here and little tap there. Here we go. Just makes it look like this little trees in the distance. There you go. I must have picked up some white. That's okay. That's okay beautiful let's see this mountain is gonna come this way that mountain is gonna stay in the back so this mountain is gonna cross near this one Let me put a little black so you can see what I'm doing and there you go mm -hmm. that way it separates the mountains Beautiful mountains. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. And what I think I'm gonna do is because I do have a lot of black, I'm going to let some of that black dry. Because what's gonna happen if, if I try to put on my light colors on top of all this black, they're all going to be turning too dark. And I don't want that. So I want my greens and my yellows to show up. So give yourself, once you're done with this part, give yourself a few minutes. Uh, go get yourself a cup of coffee if you like. Uh, forget the news for now. Just get yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate or just a bottle of water and just relax for a few minutes until this dries and we'll be back in the field. Okay, I waited uh, approximately 10 minutes. Now, I can see if I pick this up, I can't tell by looking at it if it's wet. But if I tilt it, you can see the wet areas that the black is still wet. But it's okay. So let's try this. Since I already have my palette set up, I don't want it to dry on me. So... Let's see what we can do, even if it's not completely dry. I'm going to start by putting some green in the back. And again, these mountains are not going to be defined. They're just going to be painted. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, let's start with this one and see what happens. It's going to pick up some of that. Which is okay. Just keep tipping. Just keep dipping your brush into the paint. It's, again, it's going to pick up some of that wet black. And it's okay. I'm using my filbert brush. Move it around. Don't stay in one area. Pick up some of that dark green. Okay. I'm going to pick up more green on this one because this one is for the back so we want to keep it dark we keep it dark you can go off a little bit and that way it just looks like far away trees there you go okay now we're gonna work on this one let's bring in some yellow mix in some yellow and you can use a different brush if you like let's see what happens 
if I use my crazy brush. So let me get some more yellow. Let's use this one. My crazy brush. And see what happens. Just keep tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap, tap. Making sure that we're separating the mountains. But the yellow is too strong, just go over it. I'm going to add a tab, a little tab of green here. There you go. Okay, break it up a little bit. Go up to the mountain top, and there you go. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to put some of that color here. And here. I'm just tapping very lightly. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Let's work on this one. And I think I'm going to go back to my filbert brush. And we're going to make this one a little brighter more yellow than green so let's see just keep coming down 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 and we're gonna stop here because this one is gonna come over this way so we're going to Tapping, 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 tapping. Pick up some more yellow. And I don't have it, I don't have my brush like this. I have it like this, like almost like a flipped angle. Okay. See if I don't like all those bright yellows, I just go over it. Just kind of pull it, make it looks like trees. There you go. Now I'm going to work on this one. And for this one, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre because I want, I want it to look different than the rest of them. So here we go. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Going across. Pick up a little bit more yellow ochre. And go here. that. Okay, I'm going to go back and dip my brush into the yellow because now I separated this, separated that, so it's okay now if I just put in a different color. Okay, tap, tap. Just want to keep on tapping. Look at that. A little bit more yellow ochre here. 
move it around, move it around, flip it, flip it, go in, you want to blend them in, okay, let's pick up a little bit of green, over here if you don't like something again just go in it and cover some of the yellow if it's too much yellow for you just cover it nothing wrong with that looks like a lot of different kind of trees going on there okay so let's see I'm gonna pick up some brown I'm gonna pick up some brown and I'm gonna put it here so that we know that this is gonna be separated from all those mountains there you go kind of blend it in I'm actually going to add a little bit of white. See, like, see how it looks like a hill already? Because I slanted it, I went like this and then down. Just want to add a little bit of yolk yellow ochre in there now because I want it to come this way I'm going to go like this I'm just going to start here like that okay there you go swing back and forth just to kind of create that illusion of the ground being there you go slanted see the ground is being slanted that's yellow ochre and more yellow ochre blend it in all in an angle there you go perhaps the car goes up this way who knows it depends how wide that road is and how long and how far it goes or comes okay I'm going to be adding more brown here okay let's see
what I'm going to do is I'm going to perhaps sketch a little wooden home there. So let's do that in white so you can see. Actually, I'm going to do gray. I don't want solid white. So I'm going to mix in some gray color here. Just to kind of sketch a little house. And my little house is going to say it's going to be about here. Yeah, we don't want to get, go off the road. Okay, so the house is going to be like this. Yes, like something like that. And let's see. Go that way. Yeah, we're going downhill, so we're going to go that way. This way. And we're going to do this. And let's see the roof for the house called like this. Then attaches itself to this. Here we go. And then we're going to attach this to this. Okay. And we're also going to have a little room here um, it could be anything it could be just a room it could be the kitchen it could be the bathroom it could be whatever you want it to be okay and let's see we want to do this and we want to slant it like that and we're going to put stilts still is going to be something like this defined it a little bit more later so I'm going to bring the house wall a little lower I don't want the stilts to be that high so all this is part of the house okay and what we're going to do here, I'm going to make it a little lower, okay, and we're going to put the door here, okay, and we're going to add a window, we're going to add another window, and we might add a balcony, this is all part of the roof. And that's your little house on stilts. So I think I'm gonna whiten this one just a little bit. Okay. And then of course you won't see this once we define it, but it has more than just the stilts in the front. This has stilts all over. Okay, that's your house. Mm. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. So, for now, this is good. 